everyone. My name is Miss Tasha, and I'm grateful to be with you guys today at your home or wherever you are. It's good to know there's someone on the other side of this screen still making music. I know your teachers miss you. I miss my kids. I want to give a special shout out to my students at Rising Star, Wing Luke, Hawthorne, Beacon Hill, Loyal Heights, and Greenwood. I miss you guys so much, and I hope to see you real soon. But since we're all together now in this virtual universe, let's flute it. In this lesson, we're gonna focus on articulation. Articulation is how you start a note. In particular, we're gonna talk about tonguing. Tonguing is when you start or separate the note with your tongue. But before we get into articulation, I'd like to do a breathing exercise with you guys. Place your hand on your abdomen, and I want you to breathe in and see if you can get your hand to go out. And then exhale. On the exhale, your hand should go back in. Try it again. Inhale, exhale. If your hand goes in on the inhale, then you're breathing too shallow. So relax and try it again. Inhale, exhale. It'll feel like, or if you can imagine, that you're breathing through your belly button. So you really want to fill up the lower part of your um, your, it's not filling up your abdomen really, but your lungs, but your belly should go out on the inhale. So now we're gonna do a breathing cycle. We're gonna breathe in for four, and we're gonna exhale, blowing cold air on our hands. And then we're going to decrease the number of beats on the inhale and increase the number of beats on the exhale. So for example, we're gonna start on four, in, four, out. Three, in, five out, two in, six out, one in, seven out. And I'll do it to a metronome, and I think it'll make sense once, once you see me do it. So hand, I'm going to put one hand on my abdomen so I can feel my hand going out when I inhale, and we'll have four beats to inhale for the first one. And when you blow cold air, about four inches away from your face is good. So here we go. Inhale for four. Three, this takes a little bit of practice. If you happen to get dizzy when you're doing this exercise, just stop for a couple of minutes and then your dizziness will go away. It's very common to get dizzy when you're learning the flute breath and first learning to play the flute. So let's try it again. Relax. Make sure you're getting that good expansion on the inhale. Um, four counts for the inhale. Ready? Were you able to make it all seven seconds on the exhale? That's good. If not, keep working on the breathing exercises, increasing your air capacity, and you'll be there in no time. Now on to tonguing. Tonguing is the articulation that you use to start each note on the flute. Tonguing is so important that once you learn it, you're gonna use it to start everything you play unless it has a slur marking over it, which you'll learn later. Start by saying the word two. Focus on where your tongue is touching the back of your teeth. Two. That's basically where the tongue is going to go when you're tonguing. Now try to say the word two, but don't vocalize. Just blow air. It'll sound like that. 
do three in a row. Remember to get a good expansion breath. Now form a flute embouchure, I like to use my finger under to pretend it's my flute, and try three again on one breath. Working hard to keep this embouchure stable. If the lips move, your embouchure moves on you, then you'll lose your sound. So try three again, keeping your embouchure stable. Now I'm going to demonstrate B flat tonguing on my flute. So to review B flat, thumb, first finger, first finger, pinky, and check in with this contact point again making sure that part of your hand is touching the flute. That will help you hold it as you move to other notes. So I'm gonna to tongue three B flats in a row on one breath. So my tongue is stopping the air. I, the air isn't, itself isn't stopping, it's just being interrupted. Listen again. If I wasn't tonguing, it would sound like this. And that takes a lot more energy. And plus, you can't, you can't play fast later. So you want to get used to using the tongue to start every note. If you're having trouble and you're losing your sound, what you could try is start with your sound first and then stop with the tongue. Here's what it will look like. If this is your teeth and this is the top of your mouth, this is your tongue, get your tone and it just stops the air. And that way you can get used to uh, stopping and starting the air. If you think of a garden hose, water's coming out, you're playing in the front yard with it um, and you wanna put your thumb over the end of it so you could you know, stop it and maybe spray, that's like tonguing. So the airstream is the water. The water never stops coming out the hose. It just stops with your, with your thumb, right? So think of your airstream as that water and your tongue is like your thumb on that garden hose. I would like for you to practice now tonguing a series of three B flats in a row using your tongue. And I'll meet you back here after you practice a little bit. Just flute it. Did you practice your articulation? If so, well done. It takes some practice, so don't give up on it. We're gonna play a copycat game now. I'm gonna play a series of B flats, and I'm going to use my tongue for the articulation. And you copy me right away. For example, you need to be in play position, B flat. I would play, and then you'd play on your flute. And then I would do something like, and then you would copy right after me. So let's give it a try. Go in play position on B flat, and I'll go first, and then you copy me. How'd you do? Let's try it again. I'm going to put some more uh, patterns in that we haven't done yet. Play position. I'll go first. Very good, you guys. Now we're gonna tongue some exercises from our book. We're gonna start with number 45, Eight Note Explorer. No need to get your book on this one because the music's gonna be on the screen. This excerpt uses eighth notes. Eighth notes have a flag or a beam across them. Two eighth notes equals one quarter note or one beat. 
we're going to count them as ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta are the quarter notes, ti, ti are the eighth notes. You'll be able to follow along fairly easily if you watch the blue line on the excerpt kind of move across the music. We're going to play it on the note D, and the review of that fingering is thumb, two, three, one, two, three, down below. So pinky and first finger up in the air. Check in that you're making contact with your flute with this part of your hand. That's really important to help you hold the flute. I'll play first and you can see how it goes and then we'll do it again and you can play along. I was able to keep going in a smooth line because I kept my air going and I separated with the tongue like this. So instead of separating, which would really tire you out, why don't you try? Get D ready, play position, and I'll count you off. One, two, set, go. How did you do with your tonguing? Let's try it again. Play position. Remember that expansion breath that we took at the beginning of our lesson? Make sure you're getting one of those breaths before we start. One, two, set, go. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today and working on tonguing articulation. It does take practice, so be patient with yourself. I recommend that you practice tonguing when you're doing your warm ups. Pick your favorite note and then just practice some random tonguing patterns on that note. Once you get the hang of it, go back and practice one of the songs you can already play, like Hot Cross Buns, number 16. That would be a good one to use tonguing. The most important thing though, that I want you to know, is that you are loved and cared for. Music is one of the great expressions of love, and I'm so happy that you're learning to make music on your own. So, until next time, just flute it.